Hey everybody, it's Chugacon, alright, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we completed the Earth Temple, and in this episode, I bet you're wondering where in the heck we are in the Great Sea. Well, we're in this square right here, right near the Forest Sanctuary. Um, this is where we're actually supposed to go next. We're gonna go to open up the Wind Temple next, and to do that, we have to go to this island first. Now, this island's off the beaten path. Chances are you probably haven't seen this island before, uh, in the game, but this is personally one of my favorite areas right here. Check it out, it's all icy... We're going to kick some ice. Okay, sorry, I will not reference horrible, horrible movies anymore. Um, but uh, anyway, what you have to do is, this is actually also a requirement to get, have the fire arrows. Um, go ahead and hit the dragon head that's in the middle with your fire arrow, and that'll make him chill. Okay, enough about the ice puns. Um, yeah, as you can guess, I have been... I don't know, I've just kind of been getting more into the Nostalgia Critic lately. I haven't really watched him in a while, and I kind of got back into him by watching his Batman and Robin review. And lately, in my personal life, I have been op admittedly referencing the movie a lot more than I should. But anyway, this area is really icy. It's all slippery, and it's kind of difficult to... Excuse me! Open the treasure chest, Link! Thank you for cooperating. Um, but yeah... We get a treasure chart for doing that. That is the one treasure chart that is here on this island. Now that we got that, let's just keep heading forward. Oh, geez. It's raining? Wait a minute. This is like a frigid place with ice and it's raining? Nintendo logic. Um, wait. What is this? Yellow rupee. Must get. Must have money. Must have money. This is what we are in this quest for. We are in it for money anyway. Hang on a second. Well, for you guys, it was hanging on for one second. For me, it was hanging on for about 12. Um, just wanted to find where we can go up right here, though, because I was kind of having some trouble finding it. Um, but you're supposed to go, you know, basically climb as high as you can. Whoa, slide! Uh, this is reminding me as much as I... Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, jeez, I thought I was going to get slid off right there. Overreacting. That's what I'm good at. Uh, go slow on this part, otherwise you're going to slip and slide right off. And, jeez, this place is reminding me how much I wish I had a slip and slide still. Uh, okay. Um, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap, he actually fell? I didn't know he could actually, like, literally fall. I knew he could, like, slip for, like, a little bit, though, but I didn't know he could actually fall. Um, by the way, this frigid area reminds me, I am so, so envious of all you people who live up north. I live in Florida, for those of you who don't know. I live in Florida. This past day, it was 85 degrees with 70% humidity in January. I'm not kidding. I swear to God, it was so hot today. My mom was like, you can't turn on the air conditioning because it's going to raise our electric bill. Da -da 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 -da. And I swear to God, it was just so annoying. Like, it uh, it had to be like the most annoying thing ever. And it's like, it's January. I shouldn't be sweltering from the heat. Uh... And of course, my friends who live up north are all rubbing it in. They're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're like having a blizzard up here, and we're not invited. Okay, no. Um, holy crap, alone. Uh, I did not realize that there'd be fairy. Stop falling! And how are there flowers? In he sure is falling a lot. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, great! I collected all the fairies. I actually didn't even know he could fall. Which is crazy. Because, like, I've played through this game, like, six or seven times, and I swear I've never seen him actually fall. Die, keys, you don't belong in this world. By the way, speaking of keys, and how much I got pissed off about how people were like, it's bats are not their official name. Well, okay. There was... Okay, hang on. We gotta get this treasure chest really quick, and then I'll continue my train of thought. Because here is where we get the item that allows us to enter the Wind Temple. And that is the iron boots, and aren't they just so adorable how they're fitted to his tiny little stubby legs? Okay. But anyway, um, what I was saying was, uh, I actually, believe it or not, I did not realize that those enemies, uh, in the Earth Temple were actually the Wind Waker iterations of Pose. I actually didn't realize that. I thought they were just new enemies, and I never really looked up their name, and, um, they were actually the, one of very few enemies of Wind Waker I didn't know the official name for, so... Yeah, you guys actually helped me with that, because I actually didn't know that until some of you guys told me. Uh, okay. Fire arrows, there's some moblins frozen in ice down here, you're going to want to kill them all. Alright, I went ahead and I beat them all off screen. Um, I didn't bother showing these fights, just for the sheer fact that um, I'll, the items that you get from them, I already have gotten more than enough of them in this LP, though, so I didn't really need to uh, show that. 
And it definitely is worth going out of your way because this contains an orange rupee. And yay, I called it before I opened it. Yay! I am such a Zelda nerd. And that's going to go ahead and teleport you back outside, so now we're going to go back to our ship. My ship's for dinner. I wonder what sails in the morning. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, what we're going to want to do is, now that we're done with that, as you can see, the uh, wind temple is going to be up there. Uh, we're going to get the map fish location for this area really quick, and then we're going to teleport up to Windfall Island, so I'll see you guys there. Now guess what? This is going to be our last side quest roundup at Windfall. Yeah, finally. Windfall easily has the most side quests of any island, and we're finally going to wrap it all up here in one visit. Now, um, after the many, 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 okay, whatever. You get it. It's been a lot of time since we've been here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head in here and check it out. Because of the, um, remember the high ransom that... Wow, the father, like, you know, the rich girl had to pay. Well, guess what? It seems now old man pedophile's a rich guy. You there, halt. Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here before you could have said, hmm. But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Perhaps we have met someplace before. Yes, he has totally forgotten you. You, he was a poor little old man wanting you to save his daughter. And now he's become rich. Her and the rich guy have reversed roles. Here's Maggie. All right, let's see. So I've already returned to this town. I think I would ever be able to. Okay. She says that it is a nightmare without a man by her side. He was kind to of me in the Forsaken Forest when he gave me all those expensive necklaces. My first time just hearing his name. Mo the Moblin. She's in love with a pig creature. Okay, uh, if you're into that, then okay. Uh, what you have to do is go ahead and get her letter. Uh, to Mo the Moblin. Mo the Moblin, yes. Okay, that's not a good job to build anything. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead and take it to any mailbox and mail it. Once you've done that, go ahead and play the Song of Passing twice. And when you get here, honestly, I don't understand you. Open up your eyes. Silence! I'm telling you, we don't allow postmen here. Be gone, be gone! Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Forge to return with Moe's letter. <laughs> Silence! Be gone, be gone! God, old man pedophile turned into old man crab apple. Jeez. Is that all he knows how to say? Just acknowledge I was here. Silence! Be gone, be Jeez. I like how he just squawked at me. He's like, Wah! You sound like a sick chicken. Anyway, the postman's gonna take off now. And he is basically forbidding his little Maggie from having a love affair with a half pig creature. Yeah, like we wouldn't all do the same if our daughter was doing that. After the postman is sent away, you're going to want to head to the coffee shop, and you're going to see the postman here. A lot of ruffians in here. Okay. And the postman's going to be like, oh, it's you, I saw you at Maggie's letter, at Maggie's, letter, Maggie's house. And he's like, hey, you know, could you deliver the letter for us? That's what you're going to want to do. So we go ahead and get uh, Moblin's letter to Maggie, which we're going to go ahead and give to her now, by smuggling it in. We are once again playing the role of the postman. Whether it be rain, or sleet, or snow, or hail, or creepy fathers, or bestiality, the mail stops for no man. The mail always comes through. Actually, wait, what happens if you show him the letter? You're actually bragging over who that is? Pfft. Wow. I just kind of wondered what happened if you ratted her out though, but yeah, I guess he's just too dang dumb. She looks even worse in that dress. The Mo of my dreams. This is Mo. Wow, it's, he has his nose stamped on it. I like you, Maggie, so much that I want to eat you for dinner. 
you hear those words? The fiends. I mean, it must be. Can it be? <laughs> Is this a marriage proposal? Oh, it must be. My feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. True de do de do de la da. <laughs> wow, the anniversary for the love of me and Mo. Okay. And we get a piece of heart for doing that, though, so I don't really care if she's totally wrong. We get an item. <laughs> we're running a bit low in time here, though, but really quick before we go, we're just going to want to give our skull necklaces here to Old Man Crabapple, as I call him now, and he's all like, oh, hey, skull necklaces. I s took those all from Maggie when she brought them back with the Forcing and Fortress and sold them. That's how I got, like, so rich and everything. But uh, anyway, he's going to go ahead and give you a treasure chart for your troubles of finding all these. That's what they're for, so fighting moblins is indeed worth it, though. But anyway... Uh, next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we are going to wrap up the last of the side quests here on Windfall and then head off to the Wind Temple. See you guys then.